Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we are making hellebore with crepe paper. Hellebore is also known as the winter roses. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, we will need to cut the petals out according to a template. We will need 5 petals for each flower. Today I'm going to work with 5 light green petals and 5 beige petals. Now we need to colour the petals. Let's start with the light green petals. Mix the purple, red and black into a dark purple. Then we use a size 0 brush to draw around top half of the petal edge. And use a flat head brush to blend the colour downwards. Add some water if needed. Add a few lines to the petal as the detail. Do the same to all five petals. Next, we will colour the white petals. I have mixed a reddish purple and we use the same technique to colour the petals. Mix the green and yellow and draw a middle line on the white petals. Flip the petals. We also need to colour them roughly with the remaining mix. They should look like this. Now we move on to the flower center. Cut a piece of light green crepe paper in 2.5 times 3 cm and 2 times 3 cm respectively. Color tip of the 2.5 crepe paper with some yellow. Cut both pieces of paper into small fringes and give them a little rub. Cut 6 to 7 pieces of these small green leaves according to the template. Add a bit of yuho glue on half of the leaf and fold it by keeping a loose folding on the top. Mm -hmm. 
Take out a 18 gauge wire and cut it into half. Wrap the wires together with the flower tape and bend a loop on the top. Wrap the 2 times 3 cm to the wire. Then we offset the 2.5 paper 2 mm higher than the last flower center. And we add the folded leaves to the flower center with yuhu glue. Place them about 1 to 1.5 cm below the tip of the flower center. Expand the flower center and bend the yellow tips. Now we can shape the petals. Rub the petals to gather the creases, curl their tips a bit to get a natural feel, and bend the bottom for attachment. Attach the petals to the flower center with some hot glue. Now we need to prepare the leaves to go with the flowers. First, we will make a few leaves with the wire stamp. Make the leaves with our usual way. If you need more details on leaf making, we also have a tutorial on crepe paper leaves. It will walk you through the whole making process. Apart from the leaves with wire stamps, we also need a few plain leaves. Shape the leaves a bit and rub the bottom stem for attachment. Let's wrap the bottom of the flower with some flower tape to hide the attachment. Then we can attach the plain leaves with some yuhu glue to the stem. Wrap the stem to secure them. We also add a few wire leaves to the stem gradually. If you like, you can also use the plain leaves only. The leaves will perform slightly differently, but it won't be a problem. Heli bore flower always look towards the floor, so we will need to bend the flower head. Do the same to the second flower and we are done. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you like it. We have noticed 80% of our audience is not subscribed yet. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. If you would like to make this flower, check the info box below to get your free template. See you guys next week.